Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about this insane Winter Wild Cards promo because it is a tremendous dub. All the cards that they dropped yesterday on this game, the Zaha SBC is moving the market like crazy because it is such good value, way cheaper than we all thought it was going to be. Daily player SBCs are coming, the promo cards are insane, and Winter Wild Cards uh, swaps is a w as well this promo it looked good in the leaks but it's even better actually seeing it dropped in the game i want to talk about everything from the game yesterday how the market moved because there was a lot of stuff that went on and everybody is loving this promo and also prime icons are today so that's going to move the market some a lot of people have even i've heard saved uh some packs not even opened yesterday on friday with the wild cards cards because uh, they're winning for the icons to be in packs. So a two-week promo, this Winter Wild Cards promo is, as it says here, it's got daily player SBCs confirmed here, as you can see, uh, with this little message that is on the little sidebar. Daily SBCs until December 26th. So basically now until Christmas, daily SBCs every single day, player SBCs. And we're going to be having these wild card tokens for wild card swaps that bring you a couple new cards or some packs. Uh, and those tokens are out now. So you can start collecting those tokens. We'll explain that. Um, and even like the little small things, right, is what's making this promo such a dub, right? We just came off of a foot versus promo where like they didn't even add the card design to the search filter yet. We had so many problems this last week. We've already got the wild card token and the winter wild card uh, player item here in the store. They've added, if you guys have played a game, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have, they've even added like in the top left on the uh, score board in game of FIFA, there's like snow on it, right? With that wintry feeling. Uh, it's just, this promo is a complete 180 from last week with the foot versus promo. It's a, a tremendous dub. Uh, and I'm excited to see what other content comes out this week. This promo is also like pushing the power curve like even further with some of the cards that they are putting out with the position changes, the skill move, the weak foot upgrade. This Fabinho is just like, a, it's like a shapeshifter card, right? Uh, and they even say that in some of the verbiage on the website. This Fabinho card, center forward, he looks like a cam, maybe a box-to-box -box center midfielder. That's where I would play him. He looks like an insane card, right? Who would have ever thought that we would have a Fabinho that looks like this in this game? So there's just a ton to talk about. And with Primes today, I want to talk about how that's going to move the market. So let's get into it, right? This promo, just to overview it and just to explain it, because I know like the winter wild card swaps might be a little confusing, and it kind of is, right? Because you're like, okay, I got these swaps, but what do I do with them? Uh, let's start talking about this. The wild card swaps program throughout the winter wild cards promo, you will have the opportunity to obtain 24 tokens. So there's going to be 24. It's basically the same thing. You can't see it's behind my face cam. Boom. Move it right there. 24 tokens will be available. Uh, and these are your rewards. The rewards do not come out until Sunday, December 26th. Sunday, December 26th is when the rewards come out. So right now, all you can do is stack the tokens. I don't know if there's going to be tokens like available after Sunday, December 26th, or if all 24 tokens will be made available before Sunday. So very interesting there to see about that. But the tokens are live. There's three available right now. EA gave everybody one yesterday. There's one through SBCs and there's one through objectives. They also gave everybody a free mega pack, uh, which was dope. Um, so that's the wild card swaps program. I think what people are saying is if you're going to get all 24 tokens, uh, 15, 5, and 3 is your best bet. That'll get you to 23 tokens. That's your best, like, your best value for the wild card swaps program because that gets you an 85 times 10 pack. You could, of course, open that during the uh, second week of the wild card promo next week. Uh, there is a ultimate pack and then the 81 to 89 times 10 pack untradeable will be something you get from it as well. Now, some people are like, yo, could I just spend all 24 of my tokens like on 12 50K packs? Unfortunately, it says each reward can only be redeemed once. So it's not like you can do... 12 50k packs um but it all depends right i mean yes this looks like a w but if they start releasing SBCs or challenges objectives that are hard to get these tokens and it might not end up being that big of a w um it says that they're all available through SBCs. um where it is SBCs and objectives and then it says plus one additional token will be offered in a pack in the foot store um i don't like the sound of that but i mean to be honest if you miss out on a couple tokens, I think it's okay because 
you're still going to be able to get, I mean, I would shoot for this 85 times 10. If, if the, the tokens aren't that hard to obtain, especially during the holiday season when people may have a little bit more time to grind some of these objectives and SBCs and stuff, um, that's just a big W. The swaps program is a big W in my opinion. I don't even think it's worth getting the cards. The cards are shown here on the loading screen. Uh, they've got Daka here with 97 pace, 89 dribbling, 89 shot. Now Daka earlier had 90 shooting. So they changed it. I don't know what the one that they posted on their Instagram said 89 shooting, but here in game it said 90. So they switched that. Uh, but that card looks like a Pacey Prem super sub. And then Gunther's card looks pretty solid for a left back. But honestly, just go buy Schultz off the market for 12K. I mean, grinding eight tokens to get that card, you might as well just buy Schultz for 12K. That's my opinion on that. So wildcard swaps is a dub. You can get those, of course. Check out like the Junior uh, Messiah's objective which got a five-star skill upgrade. You can see if you go to the, to the rewards, you get his card, a swaps token, and some XP. So just keep it an, an eye out for these tokens because it seems like they're going to randomly appear during the week, of course. Now, that's a W, right? They're in SBCs as well. Let's talk about this SBC, right? Witherford Zaha. This is the SBC that changed the market so much yesterday. Now, we knew this was leaked, right? We thought he was going to be five-star, five-star. That was the leak. Now, he's five-star, four-star, but still, the price that this is coming in at, 85 86 with fodder being as cheap as it is heading into this week, I mean, this SBC looks like a fat dub. And if this is anything to kind of give us a clue on what the SBCs are going to look like heading through every single day of this daily player SBC promo, these SBCs are going to be nuts, right? We're going to have some insane boost. Like Zaha got a really insane boost on this card. Even though we have Vinny Jr., we have had Christian Pulisic with a five-star skill Prem left forward, left-sided player uh, at this price with five-star skills. People are doing this SBC like crazy. And the market moved so much yesterday around this card. 3,000 thumbs up on Footbin, 168K because fodder is low. Fodder is low right now. We'll talk about that um, in a minute. But links to this card and links in the Premier League are flying because of this item right here. You saw a lot of other stuff on the market um, kind of drop a little bit because it looks like people are changing. They're selling other cards that they have in their teams to go and get these brand new cards because they're just that insane. When you have promos like this with the position changes and skill moves, wow, Neymar got a price update. He was extinct at 4 mil. Uh, and now he's showing at 4.8. That's uh, interesting. I'm obviously recording this a bit early. Uh, I believe right now it is like 9 or 10 p.m. UK time. This is going to go out in the morning. Uh, but that's a very interesting price update. Milinkovic Savage was extinct at 190. But like, look at this card, right? 90 agility and 90 balance for this Milinkovic Savage card is insane. Kingsley Coleman, we talked about him. Fabinho, we looked at his card. Look at this Pogba upgrade. Pogba with plus 11 pace, plus 15 defense. He got plus 17 balance and plus 15 agility. Huge, huge boost across the board for this promo team. A lot of cheap cards in here that people are going to insert in their teams like Niakate, like Tanzebe, uh, Nelson Semedo, and Bolo at 25,000 coins. Like, look at this card, man. This card for 25K is cracked. So that's why this promo is a tremendous dub. These are not live cards. But again, just kind of like, it's a combination, like they said on the, on the promo website, the sh it's like shapeshifters, right? From supernatural boost to shapeshifting upgrades and the powerhouses in between. Um, they're all permanent boost, inspired by past, present, and potential future foot player upgrades. It's just a W promo, right? It does kind of remind us of the Footmas of old. It really does. I'll be honest. It kind of reminds us of the old Footmas days where the content was just fire. Now, we're not getting three player SBCs every day like we did a few years back during those promos, but so far, the content is phenomenal. Now, one thing I want to say about these cards is the pack weight is very, very high, which makes this promo again more of a W because these cards are very packable. Malinkovic Savage is actually rising back up right now. It says he's 220, but he's actually about 240. Am I going to be able to get some snipes in here really quick? Because this looks like a bit of a situation because uh, he looks like he's rising to 240, but he's getting some undercuts. I'm going to see if I can flip this really quick and get a couple snipes. But the, the pack weight is very high for these. Very, very high on these cards. It's like 13%. I believe it was 13% out of a... Nah, man. Buy now, please. Thank you. Um, let's see if I can sell that at 240k in like 15 minutes because it looks like uh, his price is going up. But uh, it's like 13% out of a 125k pack. It's very, very high. Very, very, very high on these packs. 
uh, that these cards are getting supplied. So again, I do expect these cards to drop throughout the week because they are in packs until Thursday, which you guys might wonder why Thursday, but Thursday is the end of season two inside of this game. So uh, I think that is why they've made the end date for these packs on Thursday is because they're going to kind of seamlessly transition into a whole new a whole new thing on on that date of on this Thursday. So there might not be anything in packs from Thursday at 6 p.m. UK to Friday at 6 p.m. UK. Um, but nice night there. Position change with a chem style as this Malinkovic Savage is rising up. But it looks like that's kind of the case. So Friday, next Friday is going to be very interesting as well with the with the new season and stuff dropping. Um, and of course the team two of this winter wild cards promo. So Malinkovic Savage, again, I might, might try to get one more snipe here at like 220. Three cards would be great. These cards are going to be fantastic to trade with, even though they do have that high pack weight. They're very cheap, but so many people are going to want to buy them to try them out just because they look insane. And that's why they're going to be great to trade with. They're going to fluctuate a lot here, especially early on in this first weekend or so. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to mess with them and trade with them. So Keep that on your radar if you like trading with brand new promo cards because this this literally looks like he's going to be 240k in the next 15 minutes once these people stop relisting because um, this Savage card was extinct at 190. Now he's coming back and people are trying him out. So that's kind of the, the word with this promo, right? It is a W. Now, some of the market did drop off yesterday, uh, but other stuff went up, right? I accidentally cleared my transfer list, uh, but Premier League cards popped off yesterday, especially attackers right i bought robbie Keynes, about three of them i think uh at 170 to 175k sold one at 200 sold this one at 195 i bought three adamas at uh 165 sold those i got a 200k 200k and 190 uh 197 i bought cordobas at 420 i just sold two of those at 470 um and then a couple other promo card flips i bought a kingsley coman when he was low uh, i bought a kingsley coman for um, what was it? I think I bought it for 760 K and then I sold that for, um, 830 K a couple other cards like Blanc. I got that at 510. That was a pretty good price. There, there were just so many good flips. Yeah. I got this Adama at 166. And again, you can just see he's about 190,000 coins. So I might take the cash on this. Let's go 197. And then I bought a Joe Gomez at 382 just because the Premier League was very, very hype yesterday. It looks like he's about 420 thousand coins so i'm going to list this up at like 417 maybe we can get uh a sale on that card so the market did very well in specific areas yesterday now a lot of left wings because of zaha got absolutely destroyed like i bought a vinnie jr first inform at 130 135 or 137 thousand coins what is he up to now left wings got killed yesterday he's still back there like he's still really really low because so many of these left wings dropped on the game now some of you guys might be a little bit uh maybe i don't know if you'd say upset but like bummed out i thought i was saying to sell this cornet card in the hype uh and that of course did not turn out well because this cornet now is 120,000 coins he is up tremendous i don't think this is what it comes down to on friday on, pro on promo fridays what really moves the market the most is the sbc right think back in comparison to what we have had in the past couple weeks with this zaha today with Cornette absolutely exploding and Premier League links, Premier League strikers and Premier League some midfielders links to that Zaha card really, really exploding. Compare that to like two weeks ago with Sebastian Holler, right? Sebastian Holler's SBC didn't really move the market that much um, and it didn't, didn't cause other strikers to drop. But today, other left wings because of um, the Zaha coming out got destroyed. Take a look at this Jota, right? This Jota is like two weeks away from getting a plus one upgrade. And he's he's lower than 250K. He was 300,000 coins to start the day yesterday. Now, I think this card this weekend is gonna reach a low point that gets too low because he does get upgraded soon. Um, that's just one example. But like even Joao Felix, like take a look at this card, right? What card came out today that hurt this guy's price? Uh, really? I mean, we didn't have any big time strikers. We had Coman, we had Neymar. Those are two very expensive strikers. But just because this promo in general, everybody doing Felix, and, you know, people probably sold their draw Felix that they were, or sorry, everybody doing the Zaha SBC, people were selling their La Liga cards. I mean, this guy was down 100K. He was 700,000 coins. He was just 618. Now he's up to about 630. But a lot of the market has switched to, you know, include some of these brand new cards 
in their teams. That's why this promo is a W, right? Because some of these cards are just mental. Now, there were plenty of ways to trade yesterday. Icons did well. This Cantona, as you can see here, I, I was looking at one at a price of 1 million coins, and he, he's back up to 1.1 mil, so he's up 100K. Um, a lot of icons fluctuated pretty well. Basically, the new thing to do on Promo Fridays is, depending on how the promo looks, what you can do is, Wait until the content drop. I didn't even buy any of these cards before the content drop yesterday. I bought everything post uh, 6 p.m. UK. Trading on promo Fridays is buying the cards in the first lightning round. Um, and in the first 15 minutes, you can trade with these cards. Like I bought Embolo. I know Embolo now is, is so cheap, right? He's like 25,000 coins. I bought Embolo yesterday uh, for 35K in the first 10 minutes when he was out in packs, sold him for 50 10 minutes later. So he went up 15,000 coins and now he's back down to 25. So trading with the cards in the first lighting round is tremendously OP still. Um, but then also after that, you can go ahead and take a look at the rest of the market and find some items that people are going to be buying back. Or like today we bought cards that linked to the Zaha SBC because we knew that there's a lot of people wanting to go out and do that SBC, right? This Gabriel Jesus was 860K. He's risen up. He was almost a million coins at one point. So a lot of that stuff rose up very nice yesterday on this game. Uh, again, some of the Serie A cards, like the Cordoba that I mentioned, uh, that I bought at 420,000 coins. He is up a decent amount because of those links to Milinkovic Savage and Spinazzola. Now, some of these cards might drop back down a little bit as people finish their champs games that they're playing. Uh, and stuff like that. So that's definitely something that happens. Like I'm going to try to get this Cordoba out probably at like 460, right? I'm going to go 457 actually, right? So that's that's like a 17K profit, which is decent. Um, the other one sold at 470, which was a W. So today into Saturday, let's talk about this now, transition into talking about what could happen today on Saturday. Um, I really think that prime icons today, today is going to be a day for icons, right? You're going to have to really watch these. It's going to be about the icons today and the, um, the bounce back on the babies. If there are people that think the babies are going to bounce back today, the baby icons are probably going out of packs, right? So a lot of people might look for baby icons to like rebound today. In my opinion, if you're wanting to buy one of these icons, that is a baby version, if they are going out of packs, which has not been confirmed yet, it's expected, but not confirmed. If they are going out of packs, I think it's going to, it's going to take time for them to rise up. I know that out of packs means no more supply, but again, with the insane promo cards that we keep getting every single week, I feel like the value for icons this year, yes, they're still valuable. I just feel like they are so much cheaper than last year, right? Del Piero was a million coins last year at this time. Now he's 600K. I feel like icons are just used a little bit less and um, they're supplied more. So I don't think you're going to see re I, I, like icons really explode uh, after today because people like want to buy them for their team so much. Now, some icons are down a ton. I do expect to see a couple cards price uh, prices bounce back tomorrow because the primes are going to drop. Ooh, that one eight. For Maldini, 1879. What is his price? Wow. So look at look how low this Maldini. Like Maldini would be an example of a card tomorrow that might bounce back because this card's 1.9 mil. And his his prime card on the game, primes are gonna come out today and they're gonna be very expensive. They're gonna be very, very expensive and overpriced. And people are probably not gonna want to pay the big bucks for them because they're gonna be outrageously expensive. They're gonna be undersupplied because they're brand new. Icons don't get packed that much unless EA kind of supply the market somehow with them. I think what's gonna to happen today is some of your some of your icons will bounce back a little bit, uh, but I mean, I'm not expecting huge, huge bounce backs today. Like this Maldini's 1.87, uh, but what's he gonna bounce back to? Would he go over like 2.1 million coins? I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. He's a really rare card, but... I wouldn't expect icons to fly today because again, right now with this promo, people are selling cards still. Like take a look at some of your meta golds. People are changing out their teams and using these new promo cards. Messi was 380, 390,000 coins yesterday to start out uh, before the promo. Uh, and he's, he's still, he dropped down with the supply and he's still 350K. I really think that people are selling some cards from their team because they're excited about this new promo and all the cards that are going to come out. And I think that's going to kind of continue over this next week. So I'm not expecting a market boom. It just This is not the type of promo that's going to explode uh, the market and make a lot of prices go up, except for maybe SBC fodder as we're having daily SBCs. Um, and 
links to whatever cards are coming out. Now, today's leaked SBC is this guy. And we have to talk about this just very quickly. The Sal SBC is supposedly going to be the item that we get today. This is leaked. Again, these are leaked stats as well. This card looks cracked, right? Of course, Mbabu is a card that links to him. Just kind of the same thing with the Zaha SBC. If this Sal card, which doesn't have a ton of links besides the new Mbolo, besides Sal, besides Akanji, you know what I mean? Like those kind of links are what this card is needing in squads. Uh, and that's what that's the stuff that is up, right? If you take a look at like Mbabu's uh, versus items, they are both up in price. Um, you know, if the Sal SPC today is like less than 100,000 coins for this cracked of, of a looking card, you know, this Mbabu might kind of go up. It might be a Cornet 2.0 if the same situation happens. But if the Sal today is like 200,000 coins, then you'd be like, okay, it's not that good of value. Then this Mbabu is probably going to drop off. So that's what you're watching for today, right? The safe move is to always sell in the hype. I know yesterday you, you guys maybe sold in the hype. And you're like, man, Cornet went up 20K further after I sold in the hype. He went from 100K to 120, 130,000 coins. Uh, but other times, if this Sal was overpriced today, this Mbabu could go back to like 70K and then, you know, or 60K and then you're losing your butt on an investment because the SBC that is in totally in EA's hands um, is too expensive for your liking. So that's something to watch out for today. There's a couple new packs that were added to the code. This was actually added yesterday on Friday. Ultimate Players Value Pack. It says contains 30 gold players, all rare, in addition to a mega pack. That's an insane kind of pack. I don't know when these are going to be dropping or even like the large rare players combo packs, but uh, those are some pretty serious packs. And you know what they like to do a lot of times EA with promos like this, when they're going to be releasing daily SBCs, a lot of times what they like to do is they like to really put out a lot of upgrade packs um, and a lot of opportunities for people to do get a pack attain a pack somehow so they don't have to go and buy SBC fodder on the market. And EA does that to try to control the fodder prices. Now, speaking of fodder, we have fodder that is down. Fodder is low because again, there's a big SBC in Zaha, but a lot of packs are being opened. And this is a potential investment. If you don't have any, like if you sold fodder earlier last week when the base mid came out, fodder's looking kind of tasty again, especially down here in the lower ranges, right? Take a look at the index 84 with the party bag that is in the code as well. So many people went out and bought SBC fodder yesterday. The index went from 157 all the way up to 174. So fodder was up, right? 84s were up. Now with all the lightning rounds and stuff, this is it's now down lower, down to back where exactly where we started yesterday. Fodder was low. It went up on the leaks of the party bag coming out, which I don't think the party bag is going to be until during the week. And then now this is down again. So it's just crazy times. It's crazy times with this stuff. And I think fodder is a good, it's a good like investment if you want to get involved because if, if the Sal SBC is insane and after this weekend, when you're going to have a lot more SBC demand and a lot less supply because the lightning rounds should stop after the weekend, then you might see um, some of these fodder cards start to move up in price a little bit quicker and a little bit further. So uh, that's just kind of how it feels on the market. But again, this promo is just a fat W, man. This promo is just such a tremendous W. We sold Korea at 237. I bought that at 207. So an another good flip there. Um, and really for the rest of the market, this is, in my opinion, if you look at the graphs from last year in December, I really think that a lot of stuff, especially heading out of this weekend, um, you might see some drops on other cards in this game because this is just, again, people are going to be doing SBCs to put untradeable cards in their team and they're gonna sell tradable versions of items to get them in their team. So these players look insane, the promo is dope, and I think you're gonna see a lot of people upgrading their teams and, and putting new items in their squads like Zaha yesterday um, because these cards are so dope and they're such a good value price, at least so far. So what a crazy day it was yesterday. Prime icons today, I think there is going to be some market movements with that. Those prime icons will be very rare, in my opinion, to start off the day. They're going to be good to trade with if you want to get risky with it, because you will have some people that will want to go out and buy these cards. I don't know if we're going to have all the prime icons in packs today. I feel like it might just be a set of them. Then the second set, they might drop next week with the um, winter wildcard team too. So just keep an eye out for that. Another Adama sold at 197 W. So 
it was a good day on the market. I know some of you guys may have lost some value for coins on your team if you held kind of through this stuff. But honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I think that's the loss in value is going to kind of continue um, because you're going to see a lot of people that are going to put SBC cards in their side instead of having, you know, gold cards or some, some of these informs or out of pack special cards, even some of the versus cards, ice uh, and fire that were out just this last week, which still, by the way, we're waiting for the compensation on the ice card. So it's going to be a crazy weekend on this market and on this game to follow all the stuff that goes on. We're going to catch it all here, of course, watch it all. And uh, yeah, the only like real investment that I would say right now would be maybe stocking up on some fodder if you want to. And then as we get more SBCs that come out, maybe we can look at, you know, like Premier League cards went up today with Zaha. Maybe some Bundesliga cards will rise up if the Sal SBC is good. But I feel like they're going to kind of pick and choose where they put SBCs out to hopefully not cause the market to all go up in one spot at one time. So that's a long video for today, but that is the video because this promo is insane and there's a lot to talk about. But if you enjoyed it, make sure to throw a thumbs up on it. Comment down below what you think of the winter wildcard swaps and winter wildcards promo. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Thank you.